This episode of the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast is brought to you by PMTLifestyle.com, authentic Muay Thai lifestyle by Kutu. Definitely go check out the website at PMTLifestyle.com for some awesome lifestyle merchandise that's for those of you out there either involved in Muay Thai, looking at getting involved in Muay Thai, and embrace a healthier lifestyle to live the life of Nak Muay. Go check it out. So Wadi Kop, this is Crew Jonathan over at the Kutu Muay Thai Podcast. Today is Monday, October 11th. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. The Santa Ana winds are kicking up here in Santa Barbara and in Ventura. So hope everybody's driving safe out there. If you're listening to this on your drive, your commute to, from work, wherever you're at this week, hope everybody's staying uh, cool out there too because with Santa Ana winds comes heat. So if you guys aren't familiar with Santa Ana winds in California, they're infamous for starting fires. So let's uh, hope... That, that little bit of rain we've been getting uh, helps out a little bit. Uh, Going to go on to just some topics of conversation to talk about here. One of the things I'm, I'm freaking really excited about is uh, Thailand. The prime minister actually made an announcement. Uh, I'm actually pulling up a BBC article about this. Uh, Thailand to reopen for some vaccinated visitors on the 1st of November. So it says here, Thailand plans to end COVID quarantine requirements for fully vaccinated travelers from at least 10 low-risk nations from the 1st of November, officials say. Uh, Prime Minister Prayuth Chanocha, sorry if I mispronounced that, I haven't heard it pronounced before, admitted that this decision comes with some risk. But as we see, has a key to step to revive the country's collapsed tourism sector. The 10 nations seen as low risk include the UK, China, Germany, and the US. So, woo, if you're from the US, awesome. A lot of our friends in Europe and stuff as well. Uh, Mr. Prayuth said Thailand would also allow entertainment venues to reopen on 1st of December and permit alcohol sales. So, I think that means like nightclubs and party scene is going to reopen then too. He added that the authorities were planning to reopen Thailand from more countries on that date. Mr. Prayuth's comment came in a televised address on Monday. Referring to visitors from 10 low-risk nations, he stressed that, quote, when they arrive, they should present a negative COVID test and once again upon arrival, end quote. If the second test is also negative, any visitor from those countries, quote, can travel freely like ties, end quote, the prime minister said. But he warned that the government would act decisively if they were, if they were able to spike an infection or emergence of a highly contagious variant of COVID. It is estimated that Thailand, popular for its sandy beaches and nonstop nightlife, lost about fifty billion dollars. <whistles> Damn, I can't even imagine that in tourism revenue in two thousand twenty. I mean, I can believe it. Uh, for those like we had our Thailand training camp, so any of our students that have been before, or if you've been to Thailand before, you know how big tourism is in Thailand. Um, they've had some really unfortunate statistics in regards to deaths. Uh, actually, just as a result of the shutdowns, there were some uh, mass suicides, uh, stuff like that. I'm not going to get too nitty-gritty detail in those matters, but it was a really sad situation over there. Um, but put here, going on to continue on this. So just over 70,000 visitors came into the country in the first eight months of this year, compared with 40 million in the whole of 2019. So that was one of those 40 million back in 2019. <clears throat> Thailand has reported more than 1.7 million confirmed COVID cases since the pandemic. Da, da, da. Okay, so what, what I'm reading is that they're on their path to being able to reopen, which is super amazing. Uh, I know a lot of our students are planning to go. So hopefully if things keep on opening up, it becomes a little bit easier, a little more solidified to make plans for our talent training camp in uh, March and April of 2022. So if you're listening to this and you're interested in training, definitely send us a message on Instagram. We'd love to meet up with you if you're uh, a listener from around the country that wants to come connect with us over there. Or if you need any recommendations on training in Thailand, happy to give those to you. That's something that you know I went over there when I was 18 the first time with a friend. It's all about, you know, who you know and being able to be connected and, and knowing where to get certain things while you're there because unless you speak Thai, it's, it's kind of hard. All right. 
Going on to the next thing, again, that was really exciting news. I had to start off the show with that. Some great news, uh, by the way. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, maybe if things open up, maybe I can get over there during the holiday break up in uh, December. Going into <clears throat> some of the stuff that we have going on at the Academy, we've had a lot of events going on. We've had competition prep class uh, for the U.S. Muay Thai Open in November. I think it's, let me just see the dates here. November... I believe it's the 19th, 20th, and 21st. So three days of nonstop Muay Thai action in Phoenix, Arizona. They had a tournament earlier this year, but it was right after like, we were able to reopen, so we didn't have any competitors be able to go. Uh, but now we've had more solid training underneath it, and we have our competition prep coming back. We have a nice solid team that's going to be going out to the U.S. Muay Thai Open. We're actually doing some fundraisers as well. So if you're a local business and you want a podcast spot or you want to help co-promote uh, your business and want to help support this local team, we would absolutely, absolutely love to have your support. We have a couple different uh, sponsorship options um, kind of going through this and just give you a little bit of background. You know, this is a, a national team that we're, we're trying to create uh, based out of Ventura and Santa Barbara. And this is part of the growing sport of, of Muay Thai. If you listen to this, you probably know what Muay Thai is. But if you didn't know, it's actually been a fully Olympic recognized sport by the International Olympic Committee uh, within just the past couple months, actually. Uh, it's been operating under a provisional recognition for a while, but now they got full recognition. Uh, you know, one of the things that this national tournament does is it has national ranking for Team USA through the United States Muay Thai Open. Uh, and again, that starts November 19th uh, in Phoenix. And one of the things, like a lot of other sports here in the U.S., it doesn't really have any government-backed support within the United States. And Team USA, uh, that usually competes at the World Games, the IFMA World Championships, and hopefully soon the Olympics, it's completely self-funded uh, by people such as yourself. And you know, if you train at the Academy at Put Muay Thai, Ventura, Santa Barbara, we actually take a portion of our profits and donate it to Team USA to help fund that. Um, it's one of the causes we really believe that if Muay Thai grows, then we do better as a, as a company. And we are able to educate more and more people in Muay Thai. Uh, so, you know, our countrymen go up against countries such as, such as Russia and China, and they have full-time government-funded programs. So the government will pay these people to train. They'll pay them for getting a uh, bronze, silver, or gold medal. And with that... Team USA is still come out on top and bring some medals every year. All right, so pretty cool feat. Um, you know, we're looking for any people, companies, brands, organizations. So if you know somebody, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, uh, our team in Ventura, Santa Barbara. We have a couple of different options. You know, we have over 3,000 followers on Instagram. We're coming up on three, 3K on TikTok as well. 2,000 plus YouTube subscribers, 2,500 plus email subscribers on our newsletter. And this is to help cover the uh, travel expenses, which are approximately around $1,400 per athlete to be able to compete at this tournament. Again, it's all self-funded. So we're just humbly asking for any support, shout out, whatever it is, a plug in with that person who you know likes to help uh, support local sports teams. We would really, really, really appreciate that. But uh, the competition prep's been going absolutely great with that. We've had the coaches out on the mat. And it's just been a killer time. You know, we train for like two to three hours uh, just working solely on competition prep, sparring tactics, and mock scenarios, and cornering, and judging, and refereeing, timekeeping, all the different duties, utilizing some of our other students to give them some training on those aspects as well. It's been really great. Okay. Uh, also, this weekend on October 16th, we have our student, Mr. Kyle Clayton. He's going to be fighting at, uh, I think it's the Cali Muay Thai series on the nighttime card. It's his first sanctioned Muay Thai event. He's had, uh, I think, one PKB event or one or two. I can't remember. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him step into the ring. He's been training really, really hard. His wife, Erin, uh, is an active competitor as well. So it's cool to see them both uh, pushing each other and, and getting, getting that ring time in together. All right, we still have tickets at the Santa Barbara Academy. I'm going to be bringing some down to the Ventura Academy as well. The tickets are $45 cash only, guys, cash only. So that's going to be this Saturday. Highly recommend you guys come out. Check out the fights. They're going to be a freaking blast. I can't wait to see some live Muay Thai again. I'll be out there with Coach Ryan uh, working the corner. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to having everybody there. All right. So uh, we really would appreciate any support. If you guys can come or you think you might be able to come, get a ticket. 
Uh, it directly helps our academies standing with their promoter because they see how many tickets we sell, and then they'll ask us back for more fights. All right, so it's a great way to help build up the team. Uh, I know some people, they put off the last minute, and they try to buy them at the venue. We don't get credit for that. They don't care. You have to buy them directly from us. All right, so going back into uh, what we got going on next, we have our, uh, man, what don't we have going on? Man, we have a Y Crew workshop that I'm going to be running here at Pu'u Muay Thai Santa Barbara. This is for all Pu'u Muay Thai students. We sent out the registration link via email in our student app. Uh, it's going to be at Santa Barbara on October 23rd. October 23rd, we're going to be hosting, man, it's going to be great. I get to share the Y Crew that my crew taught me uh, with you guys. It's very unique. It's one I don't see that often. So I'm really looking forward to being able to share that with you guys. Um, and that if, for those that don't know what Y Crew is, Y means to pay respect. Crew means teachers. So it's paying respect to teachers' dance. It's the pre-fight dance that you do see in Muay Thai competitions. And it's so important to Muay Thai that in the rules and regulations, it says that there's a, if there's no Y Crew performed, that's actually not Muay Thai. All right, so that's how ingrained it is into Muay Thai, and it's a very much uh, cherished thing. Usually you only teach it to the fighters, but we're opening this up to anybody who wants to come. That way you guys start learning it. I think it's really important. That way we keep this white crew going, all right? Also, on, I think it's the first weekend of November. Let me double check on that. Yeah, first weekend of November, we have Crew Ed is running a Muay Thai training camp on November 5th, 6th, and 7th. So you have about 10 hours of training in one weekend. Uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon for $300 uh, to reserve your spot. That'll give you full-on training access for those time slots. I sent out all the details uh, on that. And this is actually open to non-students as well. Uh, but we do ask that you have all your equipment and stuff like that as well. You also have to fill out the waiver at the Pu'u Muay Thai Ventura Academy ahead of time. But the registration link is uh, on our website, I actually sent it over and uh, I'm going to put it up on pmtlifestyle.com here in the next day or two. But I sent out the email to our students so they'll have first access to it. But it's open for anybody. All right. And there's only four spots. So it's very limited, uh, but it's very focused. So my private lesson with only four people with Crew Ed. Again, great resource and one of our newest additions to the team. All right. Uh, also, we have our kids' Halloween party that's going to be uh, the day before Halloween during the kids' class. So in Santa Barbara and Ventura, same day, doing a little bit of Halloween festivities, wear your costume. Adults, if you guys are around on Halloween, come by and, and say hi and wish the kids a happy Halloween. All right, so that's what we got going on, guys. I'm getting ready to go head down to Ventura. Uh, I'm going to check out Coach Steve's class, say hi to everybody at the Ventura Academy. I'm nursing a little calf injury right now, trying to get better have some uh, running activities that are going to be coming up, and uh, just trying to get that thing all healed up. But it's looking like it's on the mend, and I'm looking forward to getting healed up, being able to train. I can't even come on my toe right now without pain, so uh, it's hard to move. I'm kind of just staying in front of a bag and just kind of wailing on with my hands as much as I can. And, uh, yeah. But with that said, guys, I hope everybody has a great rest of your week, and thank you so much for tuning in. So what do you cop? All right, that's it today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are listening on iTunes, please go leave a review. It means the world to me if you enjoy the content, if you like hearing about all the stuff that has to do with Muay Thai and what we're doing. Also, uh, there's another way to support us. If you guys visit our Patreon link, it's in the show notes. Uh, also on our YouTube, if you go to pmtlifestyle.com, there's a Patreon link up at the top. Uh, you can support us for as little as $5 a month uh, to get some behind-the-scenes footage, things of that nature, to see what we're doing behind-the-scenes for Kuku Muay Thai, what we're trying to get going. Uh, also, you can get some early access clips. You can also get t-shirts, merchandise, and a few other things as perks of being a patron. Uh, again, go check that out. It's at pmtlifestyle.com.